we need to talk about what just happened this Thursday morning. While Donald Trump is known for being vile and sexist and terrible and awful and grotesque and sinister, a lot of what was said before was before the election. It was before he was officially the president of the United States. However, now his attacks against women aren't coming from candidate Trump. They're coming from President Trump, a man paid for by taxpayers to represent and work for the citizens of the United States. Everything he says is now official presidential record. Everything he does is held to a different standard, the standard of being president of the United States. We all remember when Trump attacked Megyn Kelly and said she had blood coming out of her wherever. But that was campaign Trump. President Trump just used taxpayer-funded time to tweet out his insecure rage against MSNBC's Mika Brzezinski because she had the audacity to use her constitutionally protected freedom of speech and speak out against him. Here are his vile tweets. I heard poorly rated Morning Joe speaks badly of me. Don't watch anymore. Then how come low IQ Crazy Mika along with Psycho Joe came to Mar-a-Lago three nights in a row around New Year's Eve and insisted on joining me? She was bleeding badly from her facelift. I said no! I mean, seriously? What the f*** is that? That isn't only horrific, it's just plain mean and unnecessary. This isn't only bullying behavior, but it's sue-worthy behavior, and hopefully Mika goes after him hard with a hefty lawsuit for defamation and pardon my language, but wow. What an asshole. Although she did stick in with this tremendous response. It's a shot of a Cheerios box that says, made for little hands. <laughs> but I digress. This is not how a president is supposed to behave. This is not how any person is supposed to behave. I mean, wow. This is a dark time for the United States of America. Oh, and then to make matters worse, one of his propaganda ministers, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, goes on Fox News and defends Trump. That's right, as a woman herself, she took it upon herself to try and say these attacks against Mika Brzezinski were justified. I don't think that the president's ever been someone who gets attacked and doesn't push back. Uh, there have been an outrageous number of personal attacks, not just to him, but to, frankly, everyone around him. Uh, people on that show have personally attacked me many times. This is a president who fights fire with fire and certainly will not be allowed to be bullied by liberal media and the liberal elites within the media or Hollywood or anywhere else. Who the f*** do these people think they are? This is not how the people in the Oval Office and those representing them should behave. And Trump's behavior with women is so terrible that it even extended to his wife at one point. When he was on Howard Stern describing Melania's pregnancy, this is what he said. You know, they just blow up, right? Like a blimp, in the right places. In her case, the right places. I mean, she really has become a monster in all the right places. I mean, monster in the most positive way. She's gotten very, very large in all the right places. And you wonder why women march against him all around the world. Is it any wonder Melania doesn't seem to want to hold his hand and didn't want to move to DC right away? She took a nice taxpayer funded respite from that asshole and who can blame her? Wouldn't you have given the opportunity? Albeit it's good she's not wasting our money anymore. Although Melania, it'd be great if you got to that online bullying initiative you said you were gonna do. If you're looking to wear a star, maybe don't defend your disgusting husband and have your PR people come out and say things like this. As the First Lady has stated publicly in the past, when her husband gets attacked, he will punch back ten times harder. Maybe run and stick your husband's phone in the freezer instead. Do the nation a favor and get on that ASAP. Thanks. And when it comes down to it, Trump belongs nowhere near the Oval Office. He's a f***ing terrible and vile human being who spews sewage from every orifice in his body, most especially his mouth. He wants to go after women and their looks. Look in a goddamn mirror, orange boy. You're grotesque. You're hideous. Your hair looks like a haystack on a frickin' whiskey bender, and your face could probably use a couple lifts itself. All of this has gone way beyond the point where any person defending Trump is repugnant. Any person who still supports Trump is just plain awful and needs to explain to their kids why they would allow such a vile, treasonous douchebag into the White House. And any congressperson who doesn't think that he should be impeached is a goddamn traitor.
Put country before party. You're elected to serve in the best interest of the nation, not your corporate donors. Enough is enough. I'm Sarah Wood with Content News, news for those who want to be properly informed.